And here it is. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Coming to you from Chicago, Illinois, at the OD Tug Case Cup 2016 event. I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, bringing you another little tiny bit of technical expertise from a member of the Oracle community. Hi, I'm Glenn Schwartzberg, uh, BI Practice Lead from Interrel Consulting. All right, Glenn, if you're ready, your two minutes starts now. My tech tip is on exporting data from S-Base, where you're getting all of the data, all of the metadata as row members instead of getting one of them as columns. As we all know, in data export, one of the dimensions has to be a dense dimension that is exported as the column information. However, when people are sending data back to their source systems, many times they want all of the metadata to be brought back as row members. The way that you can do that is to add an extra dimension into your cube, make it a dense dimension, but only have a single member in it. And that way you can set that in the data export in your calc script to be the column header. You'll get all of your dimensions back and you get an extra added bonus with this. Many times people want to know things like the last time the data was loaded into the cube. Make that dimension called something like last load date. And then when you do your data load, put in and do a dimension build to add an alias to it of the date time when that dimension was loaded. When they retrieve the data, they'll get back the data with that dimension that shows them when the data was loaded. That way you can get everything in a row and also get the data that you want. Thank you very much. Was that a good tip? This is like a dream I've had. Let us know. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.